Assalamu alaikum. Today we will continue to learn the Arabic alphabet letters and we will talk about the Arabic letter Ha. We say it in this way Ha. 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 In English maybe pronunciation like that. Ha. Okay. We will make a quick review on the all Arabic alphabet letters, the way how we write them and how we say them. So I already write them here on the board and I will read them now so you guys can repeat after me or you write some notes uh, when I read them first letter is Alif Ba second letter in Arabic Ta third one I will go in order Alif Ba Ta Tha Yim Ha Kha Dal Dal Ra Zai or Zen, Sin, Shin, Sad, Vad, Ta, Va, Ain, Rain, Fa, Kaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Noon, Ha, Wow, Ya. These are all Arabic letters. Uh, and by the way, uh, when, you, when we write the Ba, as you see here, guys, the ba and the ta and the tha it goes on this way the same shape exactly just the difference is the dots on the top or under so ba has that one dot here uh, under the ba ta has two dots on the top here tha has three dots on the top here jim ha kha jim ha kha Jim has one dot here in the middle, under the Jim here. Ha has no dot. Ha has a, one dot here. So you see the difference between the Ba and Ta and Tha and Jim and Ha and Ha. Dal and Dal, same thing. This is Dal, this is his brother Dal. So Dal with our dots, Dal has one dot on the top. Also Ra and Zai or Zain. Ra has no dots, Zai has do, one dot on the top. Sin has nothing, Shin has three dots on the top. Sad. This way, Vad has one dot. It means like if this is when, without, without one dot here, or period, or you mean the dot here, the point here, without that point or dot or period, it's going to be uh, Sad. But if we add it, we'll read it Vad. So Vad, Ta and Vad, same thing. You see how, how the dot or period or the point, this one point or dots make a big difference when you read the letters Ta and Va. Ain and Rain, Fa and Kaf, but Fa is, has extension more than Kaf. Kaf is like half circle. Fa, ha, we, we do extension or extend it to the left when we write it. Uh, also has one dot, two dots here. Uh, this is the only uh, important notice or differences when we write uh, similar letters like this, like Ba or Ta or Tha. Remember, Ba has one dot under, Ta has two in the top, Tha has three in the top. Jim here, ha. Uh, today, in order, in the order we learn the Arabic letters, we will learn about the ha. So here, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. We already learned five letters of the Arabic alphabet. Today we'll talk about the ha. So to, this is ha. Ha is like itch. You can say the itch sound in Arabic. And if you go, guys, back to my old videos, uh, how do I explain the Arabic sounds? In comparison to the English sounds, you will see uh, the way we talk about each sound in Arabic as in, in English sounds. So please check, them, check it out and uh, check them all, all the videos I have or I had before and uh, study more to learn about the sounds in Arabic and in English. Ha, we go back to the ha. So it's like ha, ha sound. I give some examples also the way how we write the ha online and also uh, how the ha comes in the beginning of the word. One second, please. So this is the ha. Ha. So I'll show you the whole shapes or the forms of the ha in each word. We'll show you like four shapes. Actually, there are three, but we will we'll see also how it comes at the end. So this is ha, 
ha. We talked about this today. We call it ha. I'll say it again. Ha. Ha. Okay, ha. In the beginning of the of uh, of any word, ha will be like that. If I take this example, for example, uh, a name of a person, Hassan. Ha. I write ha in this way, in this shape. So this is one form or one shape of the ha shapes or forms. We're talking about the shapes now. Shapes or forms. So the shapes or forms of the ha. Okay, this is the first one, ha. Ha. We'll give examples here. Okay. So ha in the beginning, the word is Hassan. This is seen. This is the way I will write the scene in the middle. So scene, and we connect that to noon sound, na, Hassan. This is ha, this is scene, this is noon, Hassan. Ha in the beginning is as initial in the in the word. In each in, in any word in Arabic start with the ha. I give another example. Of course, this is how we say it, Hassan, a name of a person. Hassan also in Arabic language means good. So Hassan or this word Hassan. Oh, excuse me. I want to write the Hass separate and in different color so you guys see the difference how how the Ha looks like in the word Ha Saad. Noon. Hisan. Sorry, this is Sad Alif this way. Hisan. So Ha, Sad, Alif, Noon. Hisan. Hisan means horse. This is the meaning. Not the way we say it, but it's the meaning. So we say Hisan. The word read Hisan. Ha, Ha in the beginning. We'll move to the next one. Uh, the next word, we'll, we will see how the Ha comes in the middle. Like the shape or form of the Ha in the middle of the word. The shape of the uh, I'll take a word, uh, bah. This is ba, the beginning. Then we have ha, in the middle, this way, the middle of the word. Then we connect it to this. This is ra. So bah. This one is short. Okay, ba, ba, ha, ra. This is ha in the middle. Of the ha comes in the middle of any word in Arabic language. So ha bahr means si. Si. Okay. Bah. Also, if we have the the word muhit, muhit means ocean. So the muhit word, same thing. Uh, ha comes in the word ocean. Mean. Oh, let me use a different color too. This is meme. Then ha in the middle like this. Then ya ta. Ya. Anta. Ha in the middle. Here bahr means sea, here muhit means ocean. Muhit. Ha. Ha. Bah. It's a sea. Muhit ocean. Ocean and ha uh, in the middle comes. Like that way. In the middle. Here in the beginning. Okay. We will look at other examples at the end or connected. We see my computer here. I need some space here too. Or, you know, <coughs> excuse me. If if we have the word also, sah, use the space. Sah, sad, ha, the noon. Sah, sad, ha, noon. Ha in the middle. Sah means a plate, you know, the dish we have for food, plate. Okay, sah. So as we say, the meaning, I'm writing the meaning, not the way we pronounce it. Say, sah, sah, sahna. 
is that okay uh, the next one is gonna be like uh, the word at the end for example is at the end co connected if I say this word me or if I write this word I'm I'm reading it or I say the pronunciation I write it too so meme excuse me meme lamb meme lamb then I will connect the ha at the end milk milk so meme lamb ha milk means salt milk the milk we use for food salt Mim lam ha. Here ha is uh, connected to the word at the end. I will show you now example for the 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 the, the ha stands alone at the end. If I say this word or this name for like afra alif fa ra alif with hamza of course here then ra then ha at the end like this. Afrah. Afrah is the name of a girl, or, uh, or we can use it. Afrah means like uh, festivals. If somebody has a, uh, what you call it, happy, happy uh, festival or happy occasions, we say Afrah. Means they have, they celebrate something good. Afrah. But in general, means uh, uh, some mostly people use it as the name of a girl. Afrah. Uh, I th or another word, I'll give you. It's a name for, we can say here, if I write it this way, Afrah, a name for girl. So we say that, name for girl. All right, I will give you another example for this. The word we have like Timsah. Ta, this is Ta, this one should be short. Ta, then mim, then sin, three teeth for the sin, and alif, then ha. Timsah. Timsah is the name of animal. Like we, uh, animal is alligator. Alligator. A L L I G T O R. Or some people they say crocodile. Crocodile, excuse me, S C R O C O D I L E, I think. Crocodile or alligator. We call Timsah. So we, we, we pronounce this word Timsah. Ta, Mim, Sin, Arif, Ha. Timsah. This, it has Ha at the end here. This is the meaning. Alright, these are the all forms of the Arabic letter Ha. As you see here, and uh, if I if I write them alone, separated, I'll show you the, the, the shapes, how they look separate, but they use different color. So this is ha, the shapes and forms. This is how ha comes in the beginning, this way. This is how ha comes at, 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 at the middle or in the middle of the word. This is how the ha comes connected in the word. Then I go with the example. This is the examples. Example. Ha in the beginning, ha in the middle, ha connected, and ha alone here. Stand like the original ha there. The main ha we have. So these are the forms and shapes of ha. Ha in the beginning of the word, as initial in any word. Ha connected in the middle, like this and this. Ha uh, connected at the end, separate, like this at the end, connected. Or separately, alone. Stands alone in each word in this form. And these are the examples for ha in each position or each spot or each place in each word. I hope you guys learn uh, and you write some notes and you understand uh, my explanation. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, see you next lesson. Assalamu alaikum.